We all know that the Abad Punto is a fantastic enthusiast hatch with tuning capabilities that can genuinely put some bigger displacement blocks to absolute shame. But thing is, we've never gotten the chance to review a proper balls to the wall Abad Punto build on our channel. That is until now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and let me introduce you to Jallat, an Abad Punto with 265 bhp. Want to know how? Let's find out. When it comes to design, the Fiat Abad Punto always had the sporty notes that someone would like with the livery from factory and the dual tone paint scheme. It always looked really good, but us enthusiasts like a bit of stunts and that was missing because the stock one came with suspension that was like on stilts. Now, this setup is on HNR lowering springs, B8 Bilstein dampers and these really pretty 17-inch rims from Lenzo. Now, the stance, as you can see from the side profile, is absolute money. And the livery delete also makes the car look super badass. The owner has also chosen to tint the car black to make it even more mafia. And if you can see the rear, you can see the number plate. And it is the most badass thing I've ever seen, ever. Like, can you imagine just getting overtaken by this and getting to know who you've been overtaken by? That's ridiculous. Now the 1.4 litre T-Jet uh, engine from this Abad is already pretty potent when it comes to stock. And if you're a fan of our channel, you might know that Tanay, our head of photography, has a stage to a bath already in his garage. So we are very familiar with a setup like a conical air filter from BMC, like in this one, an intercooler, like this one has a 475 bhp rated Garrett intercooler, a 2.5 inch full system uh, exhaust with a Borla end can, and the PS the resistance of this specific car is right here, the 1446 Garrett Turbo that is rated to 250 plus bhp. That is something that has never been featured on our channel and I am absolutely buzzing to drive it. So let's just go and do that. But before we get onto the driver's seat and take it for a little hoon, let's talk about how much does this car cost to build. Now I've got a trusty little note sheet here with all the costs and all of the uh, mods and it is pretty expensive but it is quite worth it. Let's just go through it. The tune, which is a 100 Ron stage 3 tune set up specifically for this car, costs 45,000 rupees. The turbo itself costs 72,000 rupees. The intercooler, that is a Garrett intercooler rated for 475 bhp, costs 35,000 rupees. The intake that you just saw, the conical air filter, is 6,600 bucks. The powertrain mount that holds the powertrain and makes it nice and stiff, it is 4,500 bucks. The end can, the Borla end can is 28,000 rupees. The full system exhaust all of the two and a half inch piping, that is 35,000 rupees. The injectors from Bosch cost 28,000 rupees. The three bar map sensor cost 10,000 rupees. The lowering springs, these HNR lowering springs are 28,000 rupees. The dampers are much more expensive. They are 68,000 rupees from Bilstein. The chassis braces cost 12,000 bucks and these rims are 72,000 rupees. Not only that, these tires cost 44,000 rupees a set. That makes the entire build, not including the six, six and a half lakhs that you would be spending on your Abad, this adds up to 4 lakhs 88,100 rupees. That's quite a bit, but if you think about it, in 11 lakhs, you've got 260 bhp, which sounds like a pretty fair price. Let's go take it out for a spin and see if it's actually worth it. So the best thing about small cars with big power is that the feeling of the, all of that power is just so much more intense. Now a small car like this Abad with maybe 1100 kgs of weight and then just this aggressive 250 bhp on this Venom performance map is 
feels like a rocket ship. In fact, when you're in boost, this thing is quite scary. The way it delivers its power is just hold up. That's not even in boost, and I'm like actually scared of feathering this throttle too. It's very aggressive, but it's nothing that you can't live without, like or live with, because the best thing of having a manual gearbox is that you can throttle this clutch and this clutch has a lot of travel in it so you can very easily control the amount of power that you're getting and yes this pool is quite late so you're going to be using that clutch quite often in order to not be in an awkward position in terms of like the rev range but when you hit that sweet spot you're cruising but when you need to overtake you just put a gear down and drip that throttle and it just goes. Plus, it's not that scary now that you've got all of these uh, engine mounts and struts in place because the engine does not hop, your car is just not going everywhere, all of the power is planted down to the wheels and the wheels only and it just grips. It's really good stuff. And when you add this extra oomph with the new dynamics from the HNR lowering sprint and the Bilstein B8 dampers, the car is a very confidence inspiring car. Not only that, it is pretty livable with because the Bilstein dampers are stiff, yes, don't get me wrong, but they're not that stiff that your young back cannot take it, yes. If you are going to be going through some rough patches, slow down a little bit extra because your back will feel it. And uh, the car's build quality, I mean, Abarth's are kind of known for uh, just focusing on performance and not uh, how the performance is uh, delivered. As you guys might know that if you put the clutch in all the way and you turn your steering wheel, you can actually feel the steering rack on your foot. But that's like the Fiat quirks that you get from an Italian car. And if all you want to focus on is performance, power, and just the feeling of having a fun car to drive, the Abarth Punto hits the perfect spot as a hatchback in India. And honestly, I don't understand why did it not sell so well. Because if there are those many enthusiasts, this should have sold very well. Now the interior of the Abarth is very bare and some would call it quite basic. Unlike the mods on the outside, the inside only gets a boost cage for the Garrett Turbo, which is a cool little mod to add some extra detail inside without trying to look like a show-off. Coming to the tune, the car is running a stage 3 Venom performance tune and it comes with a very cool feature which is no lift shift. Although it takes a while to get used to it, once you understand it, the experience is absolutely fantastic and it just feels unreal, super snappy. Check it out. comes to building a Nabarth Punto, if you have a Nabarth Punto, look no further, just build it because this 1.4 T-Jet is ridiculous in terms of potential. When you just slap a turbo on it, like this 1446 Garrett, the way it performs, it's just radical. It's so different to a stock block and now this extra lag and extra feel of just ooh what's going to happen after 3000 rpm is intoxicating in fact a big turbo does not mean it's going to be slower without the lag i mean you can just Stay above 3000 and enjoy it all the time. Oh my god, this is so intoxicating. Now, yes, the next uh, step would be upgrading the brakes. Maybe doing a little bit more chassis reinforcement for you to enjoy the entire dynamics of the car because this chassis can 
do with a little bit more stiffening but the po- the punto abad as a build is something you guys should like stop sleeping on because if you can get to do this in 10 lakhs 11 lakhs why not in fact i'm just going to shut up i'm going to enjoy driving this and uh, you guys enjoy some of the flybys because i am done talking and i'm pretty sure i've convinced you guys to get going on your abad so i'll see you guys in the next one peace bye bye time for me to drive